Hello Minecraft friends, this is Treethany. Welcome back to Journey Through Minecraft episode 65. And today we are going to work on the auto sorting area. Because we drafted out what we're, what we're going to do. But what I did off camera is I did one side so that you could see what we're going to need to build. And I had mentioned that we would need to put droppers. And so I created this. Uh, I got this from... Uh, I want to say Stampy. I believe Stampy was the one that designed this uh, this in his uh, video, and I copied it. And so thank you, Stampy. Um, but this is um, what happens is the the my cards collect the wool, drops it off into this hopper, or actually this hopper just transfers, drops it off at that hopper, transfers it to this dropper. And as you can see, it drops it there. And so it stays there until this mechanism um, activates. And then it stops, starts dropping all of the wool into the water. And it goes that way. Okay. So once it goes that way, then let me show you this part. It uh, comes up here. I use the soul sand. And the soul sand creates a bubble. Um kind of like an escalator but it pushes you up in the water it pushes up anything in the water and it comes out this way so anything that goes in there we'll watch it when I turn it on um, that soul sand uh, creates that bubble uh, push that pushes up the water and then the, the lava block actually causes it to drag you down into the water but the soul sand pushes you up so that goes through comes out there and then goes through a series of hoppers and we will talk about that in a second so I created this nice little tunnel for the for the wool to go through so you can see it and then we're going to create a really nice building over there so all right so let's go ahead and show you this part so what we need uh, let's see let me move everything up here because what's going to happen is I'm going to need to drop. All right. Uh, let me let me put my iron here because I don't need my iron. And what's going to happen is I'm going to have to break this up so that we can, instead of going into a chest, it could go into another hopper. And I put it, uh, I could have put it right next to it, but, um, but I didn't want to do that because our other mechanism that activates this power rail to push that back uh, actually yeah push that back and drop the wool into that hopper so it goes into that dropper um, but we're going to take that chest and put a hopper okay so let's do that let me get this here so now all of the wool will come out come popping out and I need to get Let's see, let's put some of this up here. Okay, that way I can, I can pick up that. I need to pick up the chest, so let's kick this out, there you go. All right, so I'm gonna put the other chest here. Let's see, just so that, um, we'll put it here. That way we could put the, the wool that has collected. And I'm going to throw all of that wool into that that stream so that you can see. All right. Let's, there you go. So let's put all of this in here. And we'll get the other wool that dropped out of the chest when we broke it. That's a lot of wool that we collected. There you go. All right. So... Let's see. Oh, sorry for that. <laughs> My phone was dinging. Some people are texting me. Okay, let's get this out of our way as well. So, like I mentioned, uh, we need to put that bed down because it looks like it's starting to get dark. So, we are. We're just gonna put it down right here. Um, it looked like it was getting dark, but uh, what I. Like I was saying, we need to get another hopper there, and we need this dr dropper to drop into it. So we're going to put a, oh, we need, we also need the packed ice as well, but we'll, we'll do that here in a second. 
So I need to put a block here just so that I can point the hopper into there. All right, so we need a hopper to go into a dropper. Right, and we want the dropper to point. So here's the dropper. Let's see if it points the right way. Yep, that's pointing the right way. So we want the mouth of the dropper to point out this way. So all the wool is going to go into into here. So don't know why that's not going. Okay, I need to push it, I think. Oh, come on, push it. Don't know why it's not going. Alright, um... Come on. All right. This uh, that needs to go there. It's, I guess because that's full. That's probably why. Yeah. Once it's empty, then um, it should go. What? Well, it's empty. Not sure why it's not going. Because she's not powering back up. Alright. Probably because that's still and let's see. Oh, that's because it's still trying to empty out. Okay, so that hopper's still trying to empty out into here and it's going into here. So uh, let me empty this so that is why it's it stops. Alright, so let's go ahead put this up all right and then we got the dropper in place so we need to get a comparator to point this way so I believe here's my comparator all right so the dropper is is the comparator is going to see if there's anything inside the comparator and this mechanism is going to light up and so we need to put a sticky piston here okay and then I'll put a redstone so you can see once the competitor sees there's something inside the uh, or detects there's something inside dropper it'll activate this this uh, sticky piston up and what that sticky piston does um, so I'm going to close this for right now um, it's going to activate these observers so um, and then it's going to see how that's ticking so it knows there's something inside the hopper it needs to flush it out so it activates this hopper points this observer towards that way and says hey we got uh, we have some inside so go ahead and trigger it to stop dropping that dropper is going to start kicking out and I'll show you show you that here if I put I, I took this out because I was still working on the the thing, but uh, I'm gonna put redstone line, and you'll see. So it start, it's starting to kick it out, saying, "Hey, get get all of this wool out of there for me," and um, and it goes into that sorting bin over there. So, so what we need is an observer. We got three observers. Put this up here. Um, we need one observer pointing this way. So, let's see that. That's not what we want. We want the eyes to be looking at the redstone, okay? And see how the back of that, so that, that that's activating it. So let me get a stone right here. That way we could get the, all right, so there you go. So now the little facey thing creepy little facey thing it's observing to see if there's anything there and when it does um, well that's not observing that but um, it's going to trigger that yeah, to go up and it's going to start activating um, the other stones all right so uh, what we want is the observer to be on these blocks to be pointed this way okay so this uh this one and that one there you go because we want that to activate the the redstone that's going to be on top of this block here all right okay so this is what's going to be a little bit of a problem because we're going to have to block this off right here 
and so we're gonna have to find a, a way out somewhere else okay all right oops uh it's dark already that's why things are popping up up outside hopefully no creeper comes in here I, for, I forgot to block it okay there should be enough light over there all right so we need a sign as well so let's go ahead and create a sign because what we'll need when the dropper kicks out the the wool out this way it's going to slide on the pack dice and come into this system and it's going to push it because we have you want to use pack dice because if you don't use pack dice the wool is not going to slide uh, as far as it should and so it's going to go out the dropper probably throwing it all the way over here would be good enough but just in case this is uh, the water that's um, that's pushing it out so reason why we need a sign is because we want the waters to go flowing that way not coming in this way okay so let me go get I forgot to grab the packed ice I don't think I have oh yes I do perfect all right so I got enough here um, we need that and we need that okay Put the pack ice in there. So let's get this get rid of this the sign. And then we need the bucket as well. So let's grab the bucket. Okay, we need to get some water. Okay, and the reason why I blocked this off and didn't want it really running close. I, I could have probably put it close, and that would have gave us some room but I didn't really want it to be that close because uh, I'm a that shouldn't activate that uh, it shouldn't just never know well shucks uh, why don't we do that and I'm gonna have to move this too because if I don't um, maybe we'll just do this side I, it won't be uniform but we'll just do this side okay that way you can see I need to see I wanted to block that off because I'm afraid that might activate I wanted that separate I'm just going to keep it separate all right just like that all right so that's covered that should be good because it should be two and this we're going to have to cover this too um, we're gonna, like I said we're going to have to find another way out so we'll probably have to go out that way. Okay, once I cover it. Um, not going to cover it right now. We just need, uh, we need some water. So let's go get some water. Just some water right here. There we go. And we want water where that packed ice is. Right here. So that's pointed that way okay all right perfect okay so let me take this out because we don't need that there we want it to go up it's once a competitor comparator sees that there is something in this dropper it's going to activate this redstone it's going to activate that observer observer is going to say hey um, there's something there so knock it off or let it kick out and you'll see that here so you'll start clicking it out just like that and it's coming to me and see how far <laughs> it's kicking it out we're gonna have to put uh, a wall here um, and then once I activate it we're gonna run out there so you could see you're gonna see um, it go all right so just like that we'll cover that and um we're gonna want to cover this too so just like that and then we're gonna cover this piece uh didn't cover that i don't really need to cover that there but that that's okay it should still work all right there you go so once we activate that, uh, that will start kicking out all of the all of the wool, and so I'm gonna go ahead 
Uh, let's let's uh, let's get a spot that we can exit before we do that. This is the only thing. There's sand here. Okay. Because we don't really need a door there. We just need to get out. Okay. So, yeah, that's that's perfect. Mm. Let's go ahead and put it that way. Um, actually, you know what? Let's just go straight out. There you go. And then we'll cover that spot back up with some dirt. Okay. There you go. Okay. And we'll put a door here so this will be kind of our entrance into this area so if there's any issues we can we can go back in here and one of these um off uh, off camera i want to clean this up make it look really nice all right so we don't really need to put this here i don't think it's going to kick it out that way no nope. all right so See, they're both going now, and I'm going to show you what they're doing. <clears throat> so they're going inside that water tunnel that I mentioned, or that, that we built with uh, nether bricks. And you can see them coming out. You can hear it. See, so you see them all coming out there. See, and they're flowing through, and they're coming out, and they're falling down into these chests because the sorting system so here in this one um, it's letting only the purples come through or anything here but I'm, I'm gonna explain all of that here in a second um, I should stop that so we can get all of that done first because uh, there's a lot of wool that is trying to dump <laughs> All right, uh, I should have stopped it. I shouldn't have done both. All right, so let's um, let's go ahead and stop that real quick. It's okay. It, it's dumped all of those. So, all right. So now let's go here, and I'm going to show you this part. So we've done that piece. That's the piece that's dropping all of the wool into the water system. So pump. Out in this area and they'll start sorting okay so it probably went into several of them went into here because these aren't um, yeah they they either went into this one here this one or this one because the sorting hadn't been done yet and this one because that's that's not done either all right so if you notice in this one only the cyan wool came and this one should have been just a light blue I believe let me see yeah sh should have been just a light blue why is that not oops okay I need to get those out I don't know why those are in there Okay, I need to get that out too. Just to make sure there's nothing stuck in here because we need to clear all of this stuff out. Alright. Alright, so now let me explain this piece. Alright, so what we need to build is this mechanism. And what does what this does is lock in what you want to sort in these hoppers. Okay, so um so you have to put a comparator and have like this T block section, red stones that line up all the way across down here to this block, and then a uh, repeater, and that repeater will uh, it will detect that this redstone is activated, and this will um, lock this light in. Okay, or it'll kind of lock it in. You, it's so quick you wouldn't you're you're not able to see it, but 
Um, so uh, this is like a power of 45, all right? So when it detects a power of 45, it releases. All right, so here, I uh, wonder why there's only one. It probably got overwhelmed. Or I didn't adjust my repeater on that one. No, the repeater is fine. Okay. All right, so this one will sort. Oh, I see. Because um, it's because I have. I need to get. I need to get another cyan. So when I say power forty-five, when it detects forty-five in there, it'll release the next one. So here it'll only um, collect cyan wool in, in this one, and in this one it'll only collect light blue and blue in this one lime green in this one and see there's supposed to be 10 uh, 10 there see how it, how it goes down if I put one more it stays only 45 it'll only lock in 45 items on right, let me go sleep uh, I forgot my bed over there so and it's super dark here we need to we need to get some lights here so that uh, no creepers or anything pop up over here in this area while we're working. Mm. Okay, there you go. I need to get. I don't know why I didn't get the bed. We need to get back over here. And get the bed. Okay. Did I already get the bed? No, I put it right here. Okay. Once we sleep, we'll go to bed. I mean, we'll grab the bed, not go to bed, but grab the bed. All right, so I'm gonna put this back up. Let me grab some cyan wool. There you go. I need an empty slot too. Oops. Let's um, put this up. Okay. All right, there you go. We're not going to activate those until we get this sorting system in place, and then they'll all start going into the right chest. So when there's 45 blocks in there, and it's not going to accept anything but uh, this item. So you have to use items here that are not um, that are not going to go into the sorting system. So, for example, if I put um, if I throw a cobblestone in here, you'll notice it'll go into this one and add a eleven into that because it, it needs to be a total of forty-five. So I lost a cyan that one in there. So if I do it again. It should go down to three, see? So you don't want anything that's uh, that's going to go through the sorting item. You want to use these blocks here uh, of items that are not going to go through the sorting system. So I'm using cobblestone. I probably should use slabs because the likelihood of slabs ever falling in there is very slim. I might switch it up to slabs. Um, but so we need to have... Yeah, so see how it went back to 45? Now always keep just 45. So that system here is locked to 45. All right, so this is um, light blue. This is a blue. We got all of our blues there in the lime green. Uh, I thought I had dark green there, but maybe not. It's supposed to be dark green. Let me... One of them was dark green. I thought I had dark green there. So that's, um, all right, so I'm going to put this one here and, p oh wait, that's lime green. I wanted to put the greens together. So we'll put that green there. We'll find two more. And so here we'll put black, one, two, three, four, five. Okay. And then I'm going to put, um, uh, let me see. I'm gonna get. I'm gonna go ahead and get slabs. 
yeah, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go get some slabs. Because slabs, the likelihood of me dropping slabs in there is very slim. So I'm going to go get slabs and put that in there. Okay. Hello, Mr. Drown. Is it hot? It is hot out here, isn't it? It's okay. It'll be over soon. I'll help you. I don't want you suffering the boat. All right. So let's get slabs. I'm going to put away this wool. All right. Put away that wool. Because we got a we have a lot of wool over there. So I don't have gray. All right. Put this sand away. And let's get some slabs. We're going to do cobblestone slabs. All right. Because, like I said, the likelihood of me putting slabs in there is probably very slim. We'll need a lot. So, um, let me put that. All right. Let's do that for now. And what I'll do is I'll finish this whole thing up uh, off camera so you, you don't have to watch the whole thing. Um, and then in my next episode, I will build the building uh, around it. I'm probably going to follow this theme uh, with the nether rack blocks, but we'll see. All right, so, so I have five in this black. So if I put... Um, I'll put I'm just grabbing it and splitting it in half, um, just like that. <clears throat> that way, it's a lot quicker. And then I just put two in each. So now, if I if I get this black wool, and you'll see, I'm gonna dump this black wool in here. You'll see it'll, it'll come all the way through and then drop into that one. All right, so that is set for black, and I need some more green for that one. Um, and we already did light gray, I believe. We did light gray right here. No, that's green. I'm gonna put the color up here that uh, we already done. So that's lime green. Okay, cyan. Let me get this up here. That way we see what colors we've already done. Um, we've done light blue already, so let's get that. That way we can see. All right, so I'm gonna grab some more. So that's what you'll need, so computer. And you wanna put a, you wanna put a hopper pointing into a block just like that that will be your locking hopper and then this will be your hopper that drops it into your chest okay all right and again you want to use packed ice so it'll slide through um all right so i got this already um got this already too we're just gonna put this here for now we got a red purple Want some pink, white, and we, we got our magenta. Okay, what else do we have here? We have a black. We need our. We need some green, brown. We got a yellow ready. Light gray. Okay. Um, is it getting dark already? Put our bed right here. I don't think it is. Okay. So, what we'll do is. Oh, did I get a dark blue? Let's see if there's a dark blue here somewhere. Nope. Not there, definitely not there. Alright. Don't have a dark blue. Maybe here. We definitely want to get this out of here. Um, 
got the light blue. I don't have any dark blue. Okay, we'll have to come back and do that. All right, so I'm going to add some more hoppers here, and then and then some more hoppers there, and that will complete the sorting part. And let's see, we have lime green here. What do we have here? Green. All right, so I need to add two more here. And then we'll put that here so we can see which one we've already done. All right, so don't have anything here. So we got that. And what I was thinking is we could put uh, a dark gray in this one. I thought we had a light gray somewhere. I guess not. All right, so we want to put a light gray right here. I thought we had a light gray. Guess not. Okay, so we're going to put white here. And then maybe we could put um, purple. And magenta. Oops. And then a pink one here. Okay, and then we got three more colors that we have to do. I'm keeping these two because, see, the water stops right there. So I'm going to have to add two more. Um, actually, I don't have it on me. Pack ice right here, and then that's going to flow to these last three. And the last three, let's see. We already got those colors. Uh, we need a pink, yellow, and then what other color are we missing? Oh, and the brown. There you go. So we got all 15 colors. I believe it's 15 colors. And we just need a blue. And a light gray. Let's see. I know I have a blue and light gray over here. Uh, I wish I could go through there. Because <laughs> it's right at the mechanism. I may change some things up. And put that back as our door. To there. But uh, right now we'll keep it this way. Um, Alright. So I need a dark blue and a light gray. So we need. And a light gray. I thought we had some light gray. All right, there you go. I think those are all the colors. 15 colors, yeah. Let's put that on here. I think it's starting to get dark now. Okay, that's looking good. Let's see if we could go to sleep. Stop this rain. Yep. Our wool is going to get soaked. <laughs> Alright. Daylight. Yay. Okay. There you go. Blue. And the light gray. There you go. Perfect. All right. There it is. That is going to be our sorting system. And like I said, I'm going to build a really nice building here that we can walk into. We'll have all the different kinds of wool and they'll flow into these chests. And I'll show you some design techniques um, that we can do to make this look nicer. I may not keep this cobblestone. I may use uh, the brick or some other color but or uh, some other material but that is our sorting system um, I'll, I'll probably do a short to show you how to do it um, just uh, the mechanisms uh, for the sorting system and just do a two three minute shorts video to do that on a how to but um, if you like the video make sure you hit uh, that like button 
and if you haven't yet please do hit that subscribe button as well and if you and, and also turn on your alerts uh, as uh, turn your turn on your alerts so you know that I have uploaded a new video as always go through gaming connect with people and thank you for watching